what's up guys? So, hope you enjoyed that little uh, intro I made for this video. I'm going to try and uh, do like a cinematic uh, edit, I think, for every video from now on, just to kind of change it up so I don't have to be stuck with uh, a single intro. But uh, yeah, today we're going to be showing you how to uh, restore paint on a clapped out 240 that probably needed it 15 years ago. But uh, this car is a pretty good example because it's, it's pretty abused. So I'm hoping I can have good examples of uh, before and afters. It's pretty simple. You can do it um, in your garage. You can do it on a weekend. Uh, I'll show you step by step how to do it. And uh, this isn't like the most uh, professional method, but uh, for like 50 bucks, maybe tops, to do your whole car and uh, to make it look 10 years newer, it'll definitely be uh, worth it. So we're going to be doing this project on my. Uh, 89 240SX coupe, like a factory weird white color. Uh, trunk, as you can see, I don't know if you're able to see that, probably will, but the trunk is like a different color than the quarter panel. So I don't know if that trunk came off another car at one point or just uh, faded differently. But most of this car is like, a, is like a creamy white, but then that's kind of like a more pure white. Maybe if I put my hand up too, you can see that there's a difference right there where the trunk meets the quarter panel. But uh, we're just going to be going over uh, probably just one spot of the car and uh, restoring it or attempting to restore it. I don't know how far gone this paint is, but uh, and we'll be able to see before and after and some of the results of what it's going to look like. So hopefully it turns out uh, pretty good. All right, guys. So there's going to be a couple main items you're going to need to be able to do this. You can do this by hand, but I highly recommend uh, going out and getting like a, a little buffer. This is like a Harbor Freight one. I'm pretty sure it was like 25 bucks. And then I got $5. This is a polishing pad. They also make finishing pads and cutting pads. But I just go with like a middle ground that's the polishing one. It kind of does uh, all three together. Uh, bucket of water with some soap. And uh, depending on how bad your car is, you're going to might use different grits of sandpaper. If your car is newer and your paint's already pretty nice, I would stick with like a 2,000 wet sand. But uh, for this car, we're going to be doing a, a thousand wet sand and then going back and uh, buffing it. So we'll see how the thousand goes. I also have 600. I don't have 2,000, but uh, I don't. I feel like 600 would be too rough for polishing, so I would stay away from that. Just a thousand and up basically is my best bet. So I'm going to mask off a center line somewhere on here where I think is the worst, and uh, we'll get to it. Uh, before I get started, though, I am going to. Make sure you wash the whole surface that you're going to be wet sanding. You don't want to be sanding over dirt because it's, you're basically just pushing the dirt into the paint and you're actually going to make it worse than what you're already at. And uh, I can't find my masking tape, so uh, electrical tape is going to have to do. Alright, so I have masked off um, straight down the quarter panel here. I think it's going to be the best reference to show before and after. I've also brought in um, another light. I promise you guys I get better lighting from my garage. These, I got these, you know, two big lights over here. But uh, for some reason they just don't seem to light up good enough. So I got this big like LED uh, photography light. I think I'm going to do um, before is going to be this side, I think I'm going to do the after on this side. So uh, let's get started, guys. What you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, thousand grit uh, sandpaper and you're going to dump it in your water so it's nice and light. You're going to want to keep this process wet the whole time except when you're ready to uh, buff it back out. So take your thousand grit uh, sandpaper. I'm going to actually uh, rip mine it's a little bit too big for this, I think. So. We got the thousand grit sandpaper, probably said it like four times. But uh, you're just gonna start sanding. Real light, make sure to keep everything wet. I usually uh, kind of like douse the whole car first like this. Try and every, have everything already like ready to go, nice and wet before you can get to it. And you're just gonna nice light strokes, slight pressure. Just go back and forth. We're just gonna go a little bit at a time here. So you can actually see the color. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the water is not Clear. It's actually uh, white, and you're actually, oh, I'm sorry, it's actually gray, which means that's clear coat, which is good. If you start to see color, like if you have a red car and you see red water, you need to stop because that means you're going into the base coat and the paint's too far gone, you're going to actually have to respray the car and nothing's able to be saved anymore. Yeah. 
All right, so once you're done wet sanding, you're just going to wipe off the car here. And make sure everything's nice and dry because you cannot buff on a wet surface. It actually ruins the compound cutter that you're going to be using. So I'll let that air dry for a few minutes. And uh, a little side note, I actually did go through, uh, excuse me, I did actually did go through the uh, clear coat. Here you can actually see the white, let me get my finger out of the light. The white here is different than the white here. So this is actual base coat here. So my water was actually white uh, when I was <coughs> sanding it. But that's okay, I mean, that just tells me that this car is extremely faded, it's extremely old. Because I was going through the base coat up here as well. So there isn't much paint left to work with here, but it's gonna be better than what it was before. All right, so there's also a couple choices to pick uh, between compounds. I have this uh, Wizards Turbo Cut, which actually has like little grits in it to help cut uh, paint down pretty quick. I'm sorry, cut clear coat uh, down pretty quick so you can polish it. We are gonna stay uh, away from that one because there wasn't much paint on the car in the first place, so. We're just going to go with the simple um, Mother's Brazilian Carnuba. It's basically just a polishing wax. So if you just have your car out on a Sunday and you want to wax it, this is what you would use. But uh, it's good for bringing back uh, some wet sand too. So we're going to throw a little bit on the pad and uh, polish this bad boy up. See how she looks. Honestly, probably going to look like garbage, but at least we tried, right? All right, so everything's buffed, and uh, you can already kind of see that on the right, slightly wider, not by much. So we're gonna peel the paint off. Or, I'm sorry, we're not gonna peel the paint off. We're gonna peel the tape off and uh, see how she looks. I didn't do anything down here. Too lazy, honestly. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but uh, there's definitely a line right down the middle. Definitely lighter on this side, we'll even move the light. The swirl marks, um, like on the right, like right, let's see if I can get my finger, like right here, these swirl marks, those are gonna be there, honestly, because this paint is just too far gone. But uh, without the light there, I could probably take this away. You can see that it just it, it looks better, even though as soon as you put the light on it, you see some swirl marks. It, this actually this has swirl marks on this side too, but it's actually just like so foggy and dirty that you can't see it yet. But if I would actually clean it like I did with this side, you would actually see the swirl marks before I even wet sanded it. But I, I hope you can definitely see that there is two different tones of white there. This one does have some swirl marks. I have to I'm gonna have to look into that. It's actually really nice right here, but that's where the big dent is, so it doesn't really help much. But maybe from that angle you can see the line, how dirty and gross the left is. And this looks a lot better in person. I mean, I'm using like a really, really nice light, which is super bright. And then I'm using a really nice camera, so it's showing every flaw of this car. But in person it actually looks pretty decent. Uh, it's almost enough to where I would actually do the whole car, just for, just for fun just to see how well it would come out. All right, so I just got done um, <coughs> buffing kind of like half the trunk over because I didn't want that line there anymore. The line's gone. Actually, it looks a little bit better because the line's not there because it all kind of blends together. I also did the tail light while I was here. So the tail looks kind of new. You know, it's got that crack in it right there, so it's not perfect. Uh, that was already there. Someone had already went through the paint. But if you just look at the back of the trunk, you can see where I stopped. So. But uh, yeah, that's, that's mainly the idea. This was probably the worst car to uh, use as an example. I should have used the Supra, and my dad's Supra had a lot better paint. I just didn't want to do that without his permission. So this car should be getting painted pretty soon. I hope so. I'll be able to, you know, um, be able to record that for you guys. Uh, I doubt any of my subscribers even knew because I've had like two videos on this car, and it was like I only had like 500 subs. But uh, I'll probably throw a picture up here. Basically, uh, it was involved in an accident. 
Uh, it wasn't our fault, unfortunately, though. But uh, called, the car needed a whole new uh, quarter panel. The car was totaled out, and we bought it back from the insurance company. And uh, this is my first car. It didn't have the wheels or anything on it. It was just a stock uh, Mark III Supra. It's a non-turbo. Oh, I thought the hood would be open. So, so this is a non-turbo 7M on Megan Racing Coils. Uh, pretty, pretty basic uh, car for a 16 year old or whatever. I think I was 17 when I got it. I <laughs> love this car though. No better. Yeah, these cars are super fun. If you find one of these for cheap, uh, I, I really highly suggest picking these up. They're not the best drift car, but uh, for like just a cruise to the meet, these cars are great. Such good cruisers. Before I go on though, I did get another petrol box in the mail. I want to go through it with you guys. because It's pretty badass this, this month. And I'm not paid by or anything by these people. I honestly, I buy these just so, uh, I, honestly, I like them. It's, whoa, that's right, I put it up here. Basically just a root loot crate for uh, car enthusiasts. They're pretty badass, I'm always subscribed to them. But uh, this month it came with uh, some carpet cleaner, uh, BC Racing lanyard, this pretty badass screwdriver that came like literally from Japan, it says made in Japan somewhere. It's, it's by a company called Vessel, it says right there made in Japan. It's a super nice screwdriver, it's like knurled, and it's got a super nice like carbide tip it looks like. Uh, a pair of socks that have uh, clutch and gas on it, I think that's pretty sweet. Uh, magazine, which I've kind of glanced through, I haven't had time to read yet, it looks pretty sweet. Uh, lowered sticker, lowered lifestyle, pretty badass, probably put that on my truck because it's lifted and that's just how it goes. Catalog for BC Racing, uh, their typical uh, thank you card. And also in my truck out there, if I throw a clip right here. Uh, another air fresher, and it's pretty badass, I think it says live low. And to top it all off, this hat, which is pretty sweet, it's got it's a rotor form wheels hat, a little beanie. So that's super cool, so I'm going to leave a link in the description. If you want to go check out Petrol Box, I really think you should. I think they're pretty badass, so yeah. Alright guys, so I really hope you enjoyed that episode of how to kind of restore your paint. Uh, it didn't go as planned. Uh, I'll maybe probably make another version maybe later down the road when I get different cars, different paint. But uh, it, I think it turned out pretty good. I think it's pretty white. I mean, like in, in, with the light and the camera, it looks like shit, I know. But uh, in person, actually pretty decent. I'd rock it, so whatever. So anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for uh, subscribing, liking. I really appreciate all of it. You know, we're going on 4,000 subs, which is crazy. 5,000 5, subs is my original goal. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll be doing something pretty crazy, hopefully. I'll try and get a video off for Christmas. Uh, my uploads will probably slow down a little bit. Uh, just because holidays, I'm broke as shit, um, so I can't afford race car parts. Uh, and that's that's about it. I don't know. Corolla. I mean, I might have another video about that car. It's kind of gone, kind of not. You'll see. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.